This video is sponsored by Cadeco.com. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Vegetarian Zombie from Learn, Create, Play with another episode of Beginning C-Sharp with Unity. In this episode, we're going to explore comparison operators. Now, in the last episode, I mentioned we would be exploring if statements. I took a stab at that episode, and I made a lot of stumbles. Big shout out to Lex for the excellent feedback. So in this episode, we're going to be covering comparison operators first, followed by logic operators, and then we'll dive into if statements. That way, you won't have too many concepts coming at you at once. So what the heck is comparison operators? Well, these are used to compare two values. By using a comparison operator, you are essentially posing a question. For instance, when a player gets hit, is their health less than zero? When a game ends, is the current score higher than the top score? When you pick up an item, do you get an achievement? The key concept is that these questions must evaluate to either true or false. You can't pose a question such as, what place does this score put the user on the leaderboard? That is not a true or false assertion. Rather, you'd ask, is this score higher than the top score on the leaderboard? When you use comparison operators, you can store the true or false result in a variable that you can use elsewhere in your code. Most of the times, you'll use the result of these questions to branch your code. Let's play around with comparison operators. But before we do, here's a message from my sponsor, Kadeco.com. Kadeco is a site for developers made by developers. With hundreds of instructors from around the world, you can learn about topics such as native iOS development, native Android development, and even multi-platform development with Flutter. Kadeco also features hundreds of free articles, including topics on game development covering both Unity and Unreal. As a pro subscriber, you can access a library of thousands of videos on a range of development topics. The curated learning paths are designed to teach the basics of development in a friendly and supportive way. Pro subscribers also have complete access to all the books at Kadeco, such as the Unity Apprentice, that aims to teach you Unity by creating a series of different games. Get started on your programming journey today by heading on over to Kadeco.com. To get started, open your project in progress. Let's create a new script and call it More Operators. Attach it to the text. Make sure to remove any attached scripts from it. Now, we're only going to print out messages to the console, so we don't need to do any additional configuring. Open up the script in your editor. To get started, let's define two integers and start. These are the coordinates of a 2D grid. This is another case where a one-letter variable name is appropriate. Let's say we want to check if they are the same value. For this, you use the equals equals operator. Here we've defined a bool variable called result, and we are comparing x and y. Can you guess the result? Let's find out. Save and head back to Unity. Run the game. And no, they are not equal. x equals 1 and y equals 2. Thus, x equals equals y is false. Oftentimes, we want to check the inverse of this. For this, we use the inequality operator. Here, the expression states, x does not equals y. What should the result be? Run the game. The value is, of course, true. That is, x does not equal y. You actually use the inequality operator all over the place. Remember null? Let's add a player name variable and set it to null.
What will the result be? Run the code. It's false. If this confuses you, say the expression out loud. You are asserting that the player name does not equal null. That is, the player name actually contains a value. But since it's null, the expression resolves to false. We can also use greater than. Run the game. This is false since the player 1 XP is not greater than the next level XP. How about this? This is true since the level is less than 20. We also have greater than or equals and less than or equals. Here's an example. Can you guess the results of this? Run the game. It's true because the points equal, the expression reads, points is greater than or equals the high score. The same applies to less than or equals. This is true as well. One last thing. I mentioned the inequality operator. You can use just the exclamation mark. You get the reverse of a bool value, so true becomes false and false becomes true. It prints out false. Now let's apply this directly to an expression. First, let's remove our exclamation mark from the debug statement. Now let's update our result. Okay, what's going on here? First, we surround the expression in parentheses. This makes sure the comparison is the first thing that is evaluated. Then outside the parentheses, we reverse the result by way of the exclamation mark. Now, what's the result going to be? It's false. Like before, we reverse the result. Now, let's add our exclamation mark back to our debug statement. What's the result going to be? Run your game. We get true. The result evaluates to false, but in the debug statement, we reverse it back to true. Mind you, the variable itself hasn't changed. One more change. Add the following. What's the result going to be? Run your game. The result is true and then false. Now, if you're confused, let's break this down from the very beginning. First, we evaluated our expression. Points is 100, and so is the high score. The expression reads, points is less than or equals to high score. Since 100 equals 100, the result of this expression is true. 
outside the parentheses, we reverse the result. So now it's false and we assign that false to the result variable. Next, we print out the result variable, but inverse the value again, making it true. Mind you, we didn't change the result variable. It's still false. So in the next statement, when we print it out, it says false. To change a variable, we use the assignment operator, aka the equal sign. So this statement inverses the value and assigns it back to the result variable. So based on what I just explained, what's the final result printed to the console? That's right, it's true, false, and true again. Now that's a bit of windy logic that I would not include in production code. Rather, I just wanted to demonstrate how you can flip values back and forth. Now, comparison operators are one piece of a bigger puzzle. The next piece is logical operators. When logical operators are combined with comparison operators, you can create some rich expressions, which we'll cover in the next episode. See you then.